All right, what's up guys? I got a really exciting video for you today. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this series. If you're not, my dad has been a chef for over 40 years. He's been on shows like Iron Chef, Pop Chef Masters, etc. Basically what I do in the series is I usually get fast food restaurants and bring them the dish and turn it gourmet. So for today's episode, we have Starbucks, which I think statistically there's the most, or is that Subway? I think there might be the most Starbucks of any chain in the world. I wanted to switch it up just with a different chain, different type of food completely, which is mostly like a cafe, as you guys know. What I actually ordered for him today is Starbucks cake pops and coffee. I was thinking like, what is Starbucks most well known for in its food? And it doesn't have anything that super stands out to me, but I feel like the cake pops or something. So we're probably gonna go with the dessert. I ordered 18 of them. I cleaned out Starbucks for their cake pops. And I also got a caramel frappuccino because I feel like that's kind of a Starbucks staple. And then I also just got shots of espresso just cause, just to help my dad with like a strong coffee flavor to work with. And I know the series brings a lot of new viewers to my channel. Um, please subscribe if you enjoy the content because this month I'm really gonna make a lot of these videos. And yeah, let's go to the video. So I have the Starbucks here. I don't know what he's gonna make at all. I was hoping for a dessert because make Starbucks sort of the center of the dish, the coffee and things like that and the cakes, but we'll try. Okay, so for Starbucks, usually mostly known for coffee, you know? So I, of course I got some coffee stuff, but for, in terms of food, there's not anything Starbucks is known for, but they have like a little dessert thing. So I just bought as many as I could from the Starbucks. Well, you know, uh, they're famous for the coffee. Now, if I make that, they're going to be famous for this one that I'm going to make. And then put it on the menu. Wow, they got to talk to me first. Okay, see what you got for me, son. Starbucks cake oh. pop. So do you know what these are? No idea. Starbucks cake pop. <laughs> cake pop? Not K-pop. It's cake pop. I'm sure they thought about it. Oh, maybe cake pop. No, no, cake pop. Use a C instead of a K. Okay. Mm. Wow, thanks. It's so okay. Do you know what this is? Looks like some kind of frappuccino thing. Is it a frappuccino? It's a caramel frappuccino. One of the most popular drinks. What was the red cup, son? It's just espresso if you want to use it. It tastes like white chocolate. It smells? Yeah, it can smell. Yeah, it's like white chocolate base. Holy cow, this is very doughy. Is this supposed to be a cooked dough? Is it a raw dough? What the hell is this? Cake. Wow. Dough. You know what? I can only taste the two almond in there. There's egg, there's flour, and vanilla, some kind of vanilla extract. This literally is a raw dough. Before I came to Canada, I have never thought about like actually North American. They eat raw cookie dough. It's like they're crazy for that. I want to try the chocolate one too. See what the hell is inside. Yeah, just cocoa powder. It's raw dough. Caramel frappuccino. You'll try the drink, not just the whipped cream. Holy shit, it's sweet yeah. by the time you mix everything in. But, 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 I got some good ideas. I'm going to mix something with apples with this. Well, let's, let's go to the table. What are you doing? Well, today I'm using two kinds of apples for this apple pie. Uh, no, actually, it's apple tart. It's a French style apple tart. I'm using ambrosia apple and Macintosh, they're two kinds. What's your favorite apple? I think, you know what, this is uh, ambrosia. It's one, one of my favorite. Wow, you see the knife work? Can you speed it up too while you're adding it? <laughs> Make it look faster? Yeah. I'm going to make a puree, but I'm going to use lemon and also white wine. Serve the lemon sauce. Mm -hmm. I use a little lemon juice. Is that so the seeds don't go through? Mm -hmm. The apple is very sweet and then need just a little bit of tartness, right? White wine, just a little bit. Yeah, get a little fragrant. It goes down, turn it on, high heat. After that, we're gonna reduce it into slow heat, cook it like applesauce. So how long do you cook this apple puree usually? Uh, another 20 minutes. Right now, I'm just gonna break down all the, uh, the white chocolate. Yeah. And separate, separate them between white chocolate and the dough. So your apple puree is done? Or? Yeah. We're gonna puree it. Now I'm going to melt this. Now heating up. I use the espresso. Right now I'm separate this. Then I'm going to get a pot started to reduce it. Or frappuccino. Frappuccino. I'm sure they all melt it down easily. You're only using these cake pops? Yes. So I start with butter. See right now, because of this, does not have enough fat to make it crispy. So I have to turn this dough to be a little more crispier by using, using more butter because I'm doing this like a French apple tart. One handful. Butter. 
always love a little pinch of salt. Your salt, very little. Starting to melt, to slow it down. Need a little more vanilla taste. Huh. Just a little bit of vanilla. Give the, oh, what the fuck is this? Almond extract. Oh, it tastes nice. Apple and almond is perfect match. <laughs> Just create a new recipe. So I'll put the rest of the espresso into the reduction. It's espresso. Espresso. No, espresso. Espresso. Okay, I don't need English lesson right now, to be honest. <laughs> uh, so I have... Later? Yeah. <laughs> Punch of uh, baking powder. Stir, uh, stir, stir. Oh, it's melting. So I'm going to put egg yolk. One, two egg yolk. Then I mix it. <gasps> I'm revoking your Iron Chef card. Even pro chefs mess up. Always. Like I mess up with this. Almond. Perfect. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh. You know, this is like a, a potato masher, right? So is this becoming a cake batter? A, a dough, not a batter. Mix, mix, mix. Flour. You see? The way you mix the dough, you don't want it to be all what they call too gluten and gelatin. So you have to just chop, chop, chop. No stir, stir, stir. This time it's chop, chop, chop. I feel that the dough needs just a little bit more flour. Just a little bit. This is a Starbucks cake pop dough. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it rest. Now we're preparing the apples. I am preparing to make this dough. I'm going to use a little butter to butter the bottom. Mm-hmm. So this is really reducing, huh? Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Then I got refrigerated a bit. I'm gonna keep it nice and cold. Some apple already cooked. Then I'm gonna scoop up everything. You see, nice and dry already. All you need is just a puree, right? So when you eat a raw apple and a cooked apple, they're completely different character. Amount of apple sauce. Remember the sass I had earlier? Lemon sass in, stir, stir, stir. Just for a little taste. I want you to taste it. Just the sweetness and everything. Wow, that actually is really good. I didn't even put any sugar in how sweet that apple is. Meanwhile, I am doing a little caramel sugar. Now this caramel sugar is my caramel rum sauce. It's like a butterscotch caramel rum sauce. Sugar down. Two handful, rum ready. Butter ready. So remember the uh, the pink chocolate we had, the big pink white chocolate. Mmm, coffee is really good. Now we're using Macintosh apples. So what is this apple for? This apple is for the uh, the top. Two kinds of apples. So oh, son of a bitch. Sugar is going. Keep checking, making sure it's all good. This is good. I'm going to turn this now. Scrape all the reduction of this coffee reduction in here now i'm going to stir everything in caramel sugar is going it's burning it's burning the caramel is just burnt sugar it's essentially it's going through look a little bit of bitterness there you go oh. sorry didn't tell you that still gonna happen what do you put in there the whipping cream remember the whipping cream on on the top so you have the dairy product you have the caramel sugar got to just slowly reduce it down all oh, the chocolate i don't want to put all the chocolate I think this is more than enough. Mm. Reduce it down a bit. Add a bit of butter. You know, to soften up the taste. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm getting apples. $60 in cake pop. It, it costs $60? Yeah, all the cake pops. Oh my god. What is this apple for? It's for the topping. Remember the dough that I had? And then I chill it a bit. What's the key to rolling out dough? The key is rolling out dough, make sure nice and fast and the temperature, the dough gotta be cold enough. You know, you have enough flour on the bottom, make sure not too much because it will change the recipe of the dough. So basically you want the dough about to be this big. Perfect. So slide it right in the bottom and you put it down in, in, in. In foundation. Now it's pretty good. perfect. I'm going to push this in. So we gotta bake it. Out from the oven, I took the foil out, nice and golden brown. I'm looking for the same thing. Now I'm putting apple puree in the bottom. 
Mm. Arranging the apples in. Now, remember we talked about I'm doing two types of apples, right? Lots of apples, thank you. Mm. Let's sprinkle a little bit of sugar. Then you're baking it again after? There you go. Go back in the oven. How long? Maybe about 15 minutes. Finished product? Finished product. So I'm gonna finish the sauce, a little bit of creme fraiche. This one is rum. We're gonna boil the booze. Okay. Whoa. See that? We don't Flaming. Care. Should we turn the light off? Do you think it's good? Whoa. It's okay. A little bit of rum. What is that? Cinnamon. Looks like a campfire. Mm -hmm. Well, mm. I think I put it with too much cinnamon. Your icing sugar. Just icing sugar. Make sure the circle is perfect. Make sure the techniques with the thumb. Don't use any pattern. Down goes the caramel sauce. Cake pop caramel sauce. Okay. We're gonna cut it up. So what would you call this final dish? Um, I call this a. Uh, Cake pop, cinnamon, rum, apple pie. All right, my camera just died, so we're gonna film quickly on this other camera. So sorry if the quality changed, but we're gonna try this stuff now. All right, so we're gonna try this Starbucks cake pop, caramel frappuccino, espresso, apple pie, or apple tart? It's apple rum cinnamon pie. Mm. The sauce, you can taste the coffee a lot, huh? Mm -hmm. The rest is actually pretty good for you know being what? made out of Starbucks cake pop. Yeah. I'm very proud of that. So would you give this out of 10? Oh, 10 out of 10, that's for sure. <laughs> Holy shit. Come on. Right, now that. So, outro, you want to do the outro? If you like this video, or if you, if you like my cooking, press the button and subscribe. See you guys later.